Augmented or virtual world? What is it? At Augmented World Expo, I find myself immersed in a futuristic world. AR Wall is creating these Hollywood-style augmented reality effects with just two base stations, a tracker, and a camera. And what we do at AR Wall is democratize this technology. So we uh, recently announced the AirFX Home Studio, which allows people to do this at home on their home TV or projector that they already own using a smartphone or whatever uh, camera that they have available. A few aisles away, Mo Games demonstrates the exact opposite. A remotely controlled avatar giving virtual tours in a real world environment. This is really uh, us trying to make the most realistic uh, representation of a person that we can uh, that's not physically there. We want that uh, human connection to feel like it's still there even though the person you're talking to is completely virtual and really does not exist at all. And some companies are working with technology that's trying really hard to put you in multiple places at once, but very realistically. This is Proto. They're using a technology called Holoportation. Their motto, if you can't be there, they'll beam you there, whether it be for promotion, performance, or presentation. Education, healthcare, corporate settings. Uh, recently, we just beamed a uh, tens of millions of dollars worth of artwork. They're beaming them from their showrooms into all the different auction houses. More people are seeing them, so more people are bidding on them. Recently, we also just did the uh, Asia Star Awards. We were beaming superstars from Hong Kong to Singapore in real time for them to present. Some tech companies are putting a different spin on holograms. Departure Lounge uses high-resolution cameras to scan human performances and turn them into what's known as volumetric video. When you really need that authentic human performance, right? So what we're doing here is actually capturing video, and it's video with volume, right? And so instead of needing to make a digital twin of a model or using a digital double, you know, which takes visual effects artists and modelers many, many weeks, this can happen within, say, an hour, right? Every crease in his clothing, you can see. Giving screens of all sizes a realistic 3D perspective without having to wear goggles is the goal of the Looking Glass Factory. The screens can also be interactive, allowing for simulations that require precision, such as taking apart a jet engine. Just as black and white television advanced into color and we wanted more resolution out of our 2D screens, this is sort of the jump into another dimension where we just want to get closer to reality. A reality filled with holograms capable of transporting us instantly to new places and faraway worlds. Bork New CGTN, Santa Clara, California.